Red dude, it's on the move again. Let's go. Red dude, it's on the move again. Let's go. Step up. Stand for. Speak out. Accept nothing less. It is time for change. I said, it is a monkey that beats a woman, not a man. Bam! Anyone who says African women are built to accept the sharing of their husbands is a bloody liar. They said, you are a woman. What do you know? Hey! I reject all limitations placed on my life's expectation. The critically acclaimed stage play, Here Ward, marked its 10th anniversary with a spectacular global celebration drawing fans worldwide. I came with my friend um, uh, Hajia Kaltume and I know that she's going to, everyone I know, they're going to love it because it's such a wonderful performance. Um, it's emotional, the parts that are funny, the parts that are really very moving um, and so well executed. So they're going to absolutely love it. I'm sure of that. I was blown away completely. Um, I was saddened. I was shocked. I was elated. I was elevated, I was enlightened, I was changed. Basically, I was changed. This powerful production, directed by the visionary Ifama Fafonwa, shines a light on women's experiences and sexual molestation. I say, he beat me. Then they say, uh-huh. <laughs> what again? What is what again? Is that not enough? Our wife. A man must sometimes beat his wife to help her understand her place. She is awake, you see. She does not know too much. It is the way we do things in our place. It is natural. It has uh, something I think everybody should get to know. Women have been under under pressure for a very long time. Luckily, they are breaking out. But the funny thing is that uh, what women have suffered over the years, men are beginning to suffer. The women are speaking up, breaking the glass ceilings, which is lovely. They should be supported. But men, this, men. Is, this is the starting point for men. And I think men should speak up. Pressure, violence, is not good for anybody, whether male or female. A woman is supposed to sit down at home, give birth to plenty of children, Take care of them. Wash clothes. Clean the house. Decorate. Cook every food. What else does a woman want again now? It helps us realize that we are part of the environment that we live in. Many aspects of which we're not happy about. But we are partly responsible for the environment that we live in, the culture, that's with the good and the bad, many of the bad aspects, we are also culpable in it. It's not just a question of uh, men oppressing women, there's very much women also oppressing women and not standing up for each other. But one of the, the, the themes that resonates with me about here what is how empowering it makes women. It empowers women to be bold enough to speak up for themselves, to, to, to challenge the status quo and to ensure that they, you know, get everything that is due them and everything that they deserve. So that's one of the things that really resonates with me about this play, is the empowering theme. You know, there's no woman that will watch this play and not feel empowered. Well, I was really, really blown away. I think it's such a fantastic production and tells a lot of our stories, our issues, in a way that's really, really compelling. It's so original, the way it's been done. Um, I think it's brilliant production. I've seen it so many times. I'm so happy to be here part of the 10 years. So really well done to um, the actors, the actresses rather, and Ifoma Fafuma, who I've also known for a while. It's, it's really important messaging. And that's the power of performing arts to get these messages across. So amazing. Dedicated performers were honored with special awards for their unwavering commitment to the production. It's 
on the move again, let's go. Red dude is on the move again, let's go.